57 and uh, this is one of our latest installations of a hybrid uh, rooftop wind solar system uh, we call the roof mill and uh, this is going to go on the roof of this pole barn it's a 40 by 60 foot pole barn here in Ohio we're going to put five turbines across the roof at 10 foot increments and then across the southern wall of this barn we're going to put 10 solar panels in a sort of a solar awning that's going to be up about 12 feet off the ground uh, running across the length of the southern wall of this barn. Here's our battery bank for the 7 kilowatt system that's already completed. The battery bank's always the first thing that I get done in the battery bank and cabinet. Next to this will be the inverter panel between here and that sub panel there to the left and uh, then up on the roof we're putting five turbines and uh, on the back south wall we're putting uh, ten solar panels uh, and this is going to be a seven kilowatt roof mill system from Wind Energy 7. Here we're prefabricating the mounts for the uh, solar panel awning system. Uh, these will bolt to the side wall of the south facing wall of the barn. And uh, we're just using 2x6 treated lumber. Uh, metal brackets for support and uh, liquid nails glued and screwed. And uh, anyway these will go on the side of the wall. Then along, uh, these will hold up two rails that we'll mount all the solar panels onto when we're finished. Here on the inside of the barn wall, we're going to put a uh, DC box. We'll have lightning protection and breakers. There you can see the PV that we put up the other day. There's 10 panels in a uh, south facing um, solar awning that we built there. And then that's going with the five turbines on the roof. The mounts are being installed now. You attach the legs to the mounts, then you get the mast up all plumb, and then you, then you drill it down into the uh, roof. Here on the inside wall we made our penetration right there with two inch. We're going to run two inch conduit down there and then come down.
we go. First stamp by wind.